I'm going to cover a wide range of topics today. I'm going to be doing things in Photoshop, using some plugins like Fractalius and Alien Skin. I'm going to be using a little bit of ZBrush, but primarily I'm going to be talking about some work that I was experimenting with in the Maxwell Renderer. You can see a picture here where I was experimenting with creating um, something a little bit like tree bark. I was kind of experimenting first and then assigning a well, it looks a little bit like this, or it looks a little bit like that after the fact, but um, what I was really going for was a texture that responded to the underlying curvature and branching of the object. So that's why I created this sort of abstract object in ZBrush. It has an, a hole in it. It has uh, something sticking out of one side, and that thing branches. So it's kind of useful for seeing how the texture might behave. I was using the Alien Skin plugin and one of the things that I had been using with it, with it was uh, something called uh, eye candy. It was uh, something that uh, responded to the gradients, the underlying gradients of a photograph. So um, if I try running Alien Skin Eye Candy, uh, the swirl option, it's kind of interesting because what it does is it uh, makes lines and the lines either go along a gradient in the case of um, these lines where they're sort of following going around features or and this is when it's set to 100 percent twist or when it's set to zero percent twist it goes across gradients um, I was talking about that a little bit in another video which I'll put a link to where I was kind of simulating how electric fields might behave so one of the things that I was playing with was that I would run this plugin around the uh, color gradients in an image and then across them and combine the two at the same time and what I would get is this sort of cross-like effect that you see here and uh, yeah I was just kind of playing around but I found it interesting looking I started to wonder if maybe if I had created an object in ZBrush and used some of the automatic masking in ZBrush that's based on curvature or ambient occlusion or cavities or high and low spots that I could write out a mask and I could combine that mask with some of these other effects here would be a mask coming out of ZBrush and I could combine that mask with um, these other plugins in order to create things like uh, these sort of that sort of tree bark pattern that I showed you earlier and what's kind of interesting about it is that you can smooth it yourself in different areas by sort of using the mask itself to suppress features in it. Or you can run other kinds of plugins. Like here I'm running the Fractalius plugin in order to get this uh, effect that almost looks like it's made of tissue paper and tied in string. Here I took a simple image of uh, l sort of lumpy texture and I ran the twist eye candy on it and I got this sort of uh, uh, swirling pattern which I liked quite a bit and I used it um, as a mask to control surface characteristics and objects in Maxwell that's sort of a decorative approach that I thought had a nice look to it it's uh, something kind of that spun off of these experiments that I was doing but what I was really intrigued by was just sort of like the idea of running simple plugins on curvature based masks in order to produce uh, textures that were sort of automatically responding to the underlying geometry like uh, here for example this sort of odd object with curves in it the test object is turned into something that sort of has this crackle pattern emitting light here I'm using the fractalius pattern and I get this sort of like web of interesting things here I sort of just flip the characteristics of the surface around as far as what's a, what's diffuse and what's slightly transparent and I get this kind of cut watermelon effect or something and uh, this one I thought was particularly interesting it's uh, sort of like a large-scale leather skin effect and it's all coming from the Fractalius plugin which if you um, are not familiar with it is something from Redfield and it produces these sort of lines that are there are a number of presets that you can run it on. Um, Glow 100 happens to be a fairly useful one for 
what I was doing, but there are all different kinds of just sort of presets that you can run that produce uh, interesting textures that would be somewhat hard to produce any other way. And by running it on the um, masks that ZBrush was producing, I was able to get some interesting effects. Here again is an underlying curvature map for an object, and this is an example of what it looks like when you run Fractalius on it in one setting. Here's Fractalius in another setting. Here is um, Fractalius run on more of a random pattern and kind of wrapped around. And these are uh, the techniques that I used to produce these images. So the basic goal here, this is actually Boca um, from Alien Skin Boca 2. You get these sort of, um, you know, autofocus light patterns. And I turned them into these sort of lumps here. Um, these are combinations of things where you have this sort of weaving pattern combined with Boca. Uh, so like I said, a little bit of it is... Um, this is almost like cantaloupe skin, I think. A little bit of it is you sort of do something and then you decide what it looks like after the fact. And But I, I guess uh, I think that there's some interesting area to be explored in using some of the automatic texture map producing capabilities of ZBrush in combination with image processing techniques that care about image gradients.